After two weeks of cleanup from this month's historic floods, federal help is coming to people hit hard in Broward. President Joe Biden approved a major disaster declaration for the county. Take a look at your screen. You can apply for help at disasterassistance.gov. Call 800-621-FEMA or use the FEMA app. We also have that information at cbsmiami.com. Now this help is badly needed. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister is in Fort Lauderdale where she spoke with a woman who nearly lost everything in the flood. The water in Edgewood is long gone, but the road to recovery is just beginning for these residents. And as one woman tells me, she's hoping for any financial assistance to start picking up the pieces of her life. It's been probably one of the hardest things in my life, even compared to like losing people. Jacqueline Criminger is a lifelong resident of Edgewood. She says there's nowhere else she'd rather be. But the historic rainfall and flooding that left nearly three feet of water in her home earlier this month has shattered life as she knew it. Depressing. We've all just been under the weather and just trying to figure things out, calling, trying to get help, figure out where to get help, running to get help at places you think you're going to get help. I stood in line for two hours at Red Cross yesterday, and then they closed the line down. But help is officially on the way to Criminger and hundreds of others. President Biden's declaration allows those impacted by the flooding, even those without insurance, to apply for money from FEMA. But there are some limitations. One tiny. Um, even if people were to call right now and to ask for money, there has to be an analysis of their situation. Number two, there are limits. There are limits to what FEMA will, uh, will authorize. Residents like Criminger are hoping the money comes sooner rather than later. Make it an easy process, not make it where we have to jump through hoops, you know. And while Criminger is one of dozens of flooding victims who did not have insurance, she had this to say when asked if she will get it. We have had it before. And to get money from them, it's, it just seems impossible. So I have mixed feelings about that. You know, I'm like in between. And right now, I'm just, I really just want to get back into my home. That's like my main focus. And like Mayor Trantala said, it's still unclear what the cap would be for each household and just how long it would take for each resident to get that assistance. If you are interested in applying for FEMA assistance, you can head to our website, cbsmiami.com. Reporting in Edgewood, Anna McAllister, CBS News, Miami.